All right, hello everybody, welcome back. It's Monday, there is a new weekly pack, and we are getting into it. And I guess I'm buying bluebirds. Maybe a pig, or the fish, we can maybe keep a fish around for a while. Um, the other stuff is good for selling, but I like blue squad and I like being able to have big things on my team. Um, you may also notice I have more name options now, because yesterday was my first view of these things since I've been posting again. And I had to buy the plus subscription so I could have like 64 player lobbies. So yeah, now I can like pick from my old names I think and a few other things. A couple of new backgrounds and a couple of mascots, but I'm sticking with this. I like her. And we're going to roll these. I'm not that interested. Or maybe buy a honey and then roll. Because we're still on five, so it doesn't really matter. And yeah, we can just like sell pig next turn. So I like you at the back. I kind of want you there. And honestly, that could have been worse. We are going to combine all of them next turn, so like two of them was were wasted. But, you know, <laughs> they were pretty likely to hit each other anyway. At least this one got one. Alright, so do this. Um, bear and rabbit. I can maybe go for rabbits. I think there's a lot of things that benefit from having a lot of HP. Or at the very least, there's kangaroo and uh, yeah. I think that one's pretty obvious. I'm going to do this, I think. Kangaroo, love it. I will be changing positioning soon. Not going to bother with that. And yeah, I mean, I can sell a fish and buy sell the pigeon, maybe. And then this is just a plus three attack with the other thing. It would be good on Ogopogo, but I don't think I'm going to force that too much. I think XP to you, because it doesn't matter. If I got it leveled up, well, you know, another XP, then it'd be pretty good. But yeah, you're probably going to be the most survivable, even with the honey here. So yeah. Yeah, now he's a 3-5. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, that works. There's still going to be two triggers, and then we should only have a 2-2 two -two to deal with. Bison, enjoy it. My, dude, my last game, I was running Quad Buffalo, and it was so close to being great. I had the build. It was just, um, I was on 1 HP by the time I got it, and I only survived, like, three rounds before I barely lost to um bad, bad, bad dog luck. But, oh well. Um, yeah, I probably do still sell fish here. Frostwolf is also pretty interesting, but I think I'm going to leave it. And honestly, I'm going to buff this. It makes sense to buff other things for more kangaroo triggers, but honestly, I may swap out a lot of this stuff. So I'm thinking... I'm actually thinking doing something like this, because then at the very least, the last kangaroo will also get the trumpet trigger. And yeah, I'm just going to roll for another kangaroo. Hey, And you know what? We can go for you as well. You're also very big. Alright, that one probably needed it the most, but I'm also very close to just selling the rabbit, so... Yeah, <laughs> kind of regret picking it up at all. And yeah, it's gonna be a loss. Shame. I don't think backline wolf guy is the play. Uh, yeah, we just do this right away. Don't think we need to wait. And Llama, end turn if there's an empty space game, plus one, plus two. So I could, and that could potentially work well with Buffalo, because that's also a buy-sell kind of synergy. And it is early. I'm pretty tempted to go for that. Like, yeah, buy this, give it that, sell the rabbit, and then I'm going to try and combine that soon as well. But we're just going to run an empty space. And yeah, I think we leave everything else where it is. And I'm hoping that we do get some bluebird triggers onto this, because that might be the only thing I'll be keeping. Like, for now, everything stays, but in the future, things will be getting swapped out. <laughs> like, everything. Although, if I find a husky, I will say I'm probably just going to go <laughs> complete crazy mode on buying every husky I see. Like, I could do this, but... Come on, another one of these. Just buy the avocado. We don't need more, more kangaroos. We'll be looking for more llamas next turn, or just a combo to see if we can find an early husky. Because I'm still open to pivots if it seems like it might be a good idea. And we get another trigger. Very nice. Uh, sadly, they had like exact lethal, so I still lose HP. Alright, another bluebird, not interested. We do have a couple of summons, but yeah, Pegasus is not it, and we can't pill turtles. There is buffalo, but I don't want to do buy selling. It's rough to get started unless you do have like a lot of them very quickly. Like, I'd almost just rather buy pairs at this stage. Push money forward. Okay, another llama. I still feel like I need to keep that. Okay, get rid of the bluebirds. That was permanent stuff, but... Yeah, we'll grab this instead. And I really don't want another one of those. <laughs> Let's keep rolling. Alright, pair, good. 
Leave the rest. I am rolling some decent stuff here. Like, I do feel like rocks could be good, even if there's not much um, mana synergy. Like, what? There's rock, kitsune. I thought there was something at a higher tier. Is there nothing that uses mana? Oh, no, there's you. Yeah, the picks you. So, like, there is, there is stuff. I don't think a lot of it is very good, though. And I can make you get your own trigger, but I don't think it changes anything. Like, this leveling itself up in the fight just does nothing for us, so... Yeah. Oh, but it turns out they have a frontline level 2 Rhino, so... Yeah. Ouch. Wreck indeed. <laughs> Do I just level? I feel like I need to level it. Yeah, I probably won't be looking from tier 6, so I may just level it right away. And Rhino? I mean, it is very good if we get it off the ground. Alright, I'm going to do that. Yeah, let's just stick with Big Rhino. We can try and grow this for now, but I don't think it's going to stick around. So yeah, if I find like a load of Huskies, we can run all those and then the Rhino. And that might be enough by itself. Um, I'm glad this survived the hits. And I'm not sure why they had backline Turtle. I can't snipe anything, right? I don't think so. Like, I know I had this guy, but <laughs> I don't think he works that way. Um, I will buy some cow to get some stats on here. Maybe you hold on to it for a bit. And I know Dragon's pretty good, but yeah, I really want to find some Huskies. No, <laughs> you are good. Um, you are dogs, but you're not the dogs I want. Yeah, do this. I could do that as well. It does show me a tier 6. And I guess if it is a tiger, that'd actually be very nice. So I might do that. No, and I can't even pill these. <laughs> Alright, just sell that again. Let this grow another 2-4. And I'm not doing sea lines. Freeze that. At least we have the level 2 Rhino in the fight. Yeah, and it's gonna... Oh, wait. It does still insta-kill. Great. Absolutely monstrous. <laughs> okay, we just need to make sure that happens like every turn. And we have found our cows. So the issue is... What do I do? Because these two aren't going to grow with the husky. But if I get rid of this, then this won't level up, and if I get rid of this, I'll have a full slot, then that won't grow at all. I can maybe get rid of the kangaroo, but that would be scaling. Um, I'm going to get rid of the llama. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the llama, which feels like a terrible play, but I do think I'll be getting rid of this relatively soon as well. Yeah, like, if we can get this leveled up in actuality, then we don't need to worry about anything else. Um, maybe sell cow and run double. Yeah, run double rhino for a bit. All right. Swap that again. Go that way. And there we go. We're at least scaling three things. And haha, mine is much bigger and high level. That's what we need. We need this thing to always get the first hit off, and then we're good. Alright, six and two. Very good spot to be in. Um, yeah, we can't do X, not... Yeah, we can't do equipment because of this guy. I could throw something on him, but I actually want to have more <laughs> huskies. Even if it's like double rhino, triple husky, I'd be very down. Uh, Tiger behind the Rhino is actually insane. Um, I should probably just combine. Yeah, I, I should. Okay, just combine there by this. Uh, we can level it up, so that means I can get rid of this if I want. There's also Wolverine, but I can't throw it in front of the Rhino, and we already have the Tiger for behind. So it depends whether I want to go for Tiger or Wolverine. I've already bought the Tiger. I think I'm just going to stick with what I have at the moment. But in a future run, perhaps we go for Wolverine <laughs> Rhino instead. And yeah, I think everything still kind of stays where it is. Still scaling a bit. And yeah, that's fine. Nice. Excellent. Keep it going. I'm not buying... Wait, does the mana count as a knockout? If I like kill something with mana, would that count as a more of a chain? There's a thought. Uh, I want to level you! <laughs> I was so close to the end. Maybe we'll just try and get you to level 3. Let's do that. Still haven't found any more huskies yet. Uh, that's kind of cool though. And honestly, I may just sell the Ogre Pogo next turn. Like, it is leveling this, but... I don't know. Just hold on to this. I do want to buy sell the cow. I just don't know how I'm going to fit it in yet. And I want to start buying these at some point as well. Not this game, probably, but... Yeah, I feel like that tier 6 food that gets stronger every time you buy them. Could be really interesting for an actual food build or like a stalling game. Anyway, we're going to start just by leveling this. Uh, Cerberus. Pretty strong. 
Doesn't do a whole lot otherwise, though. I do think I'm just going to roll it. And yeah, we, I guess we keep Ogopogo this turn, and I'm really hoping I can get that leveled up next turn, and then I won't need to worry about it anymore. Yeah, okay. Ogopogo goes next turn, even if the Rhino isn't leveled up, because I want to buy Soul Cow, and I want to end on another Husky. <laughs> my, my poor Kangaroo back here. It's been on the verge of getting sold for so long, and I just haven't been able to do it. And hey, this is a draw, right? I'll take it. Stalling. Okay, so get rid of you. Buy, sell this. Grab you. Try and keep both of these alive. And I could take Fire Dragon or something, but I don't want to. I <laughs> like my build. Yes. Yes, okay. So level 2 Tiger, level 3 Rhino. Bit of scaling, little Kangaroo that's not really doing a whole lot to the back. And we don't have the extra summon now, so I will just throw it behind the slightly larger Tiger. And... I mean, I could combine those again, but I don't really see a reason to. So yeah, we're going to leave the cow. I think I think this is the squad now. I just need to finish trying to, like, level this and this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Melted. One hit is all it takes. Let's try and get you leveled up. Let's do it. Okay. Hey, there it is. All right. So potentially one more turn. I can always just, like, just use Competo to try and get this into something better, but... Yeah, I think we're potentially fine. That's gonna be a big snipe on something, though. Okay, but it didn't matter what it hit. But we lose anyway, never mind. <laughs> Alright, 9 and 1. Extremely close. Uh, we definitely don't need more Tigers. I don't want to level that either. So I do think I take a Mana Potion. Yeah, so have that, so you get an extra snipe. Um, don't know how it's going to work with Tiger or, you know, for its own ability, but that's fine. And I'm pretty tempted to grab a Tomato for one of these. Just do that. I'm going to keep it further back, though, because if other people are running a frontline Rhino, I do not want to feed them in a, a, a like, free chain right at the start. Alright. That looks mostly fine. Yep. <laughs> yep, we're good. A... A classic that can't be beat. Tiger Rhino, both level 3. Very strong. Alright, good run. Let's go again. We need more. Alright, Spunyip. Start a battle, gain HP for every time you roll this turn. I will take that. I'm going to take one of these as well. And now I'm buying a load of pigs. Fine. Okay. Um, let's be the piggies. The miffed piggies. Very fitting. And not a loss. My favorite turn one. <laughs> Anything that is not me losing. And yeah, let's run double that and combine the pigs. And there's another combo. I'm not going to be buying more pigs. Even though our name is Piggies, I don't think the piggies stay forever. I think they will be going, probably not next turn, but you know, by tier three or something at, at the least. And we can combine right away because that doesn't really bother me. And same here. Like, see the options first? Double rabbit. Double rabbit could be interesting. And there is, like, decent food in the pack. Well, not just here, but there is, like, um, there's pigeon, there's cow. Wait, is there a waffle? There isn't waffle. I don't know, though. It's kind of weak. I could try the tree. I could do, like, a tree and a rabbit. Like, that could be fun. So, if anyone that doesn't know what this is, start a battle. If this has six or less attack, gain the coconut perk. Um, I've been trying to get runs with this thing in customs quite a lot. But like a dream run that's not like, you know, just getting the level 3 with loads of broken stuff with it. But it can't really beat the the broken stuff that is everywhere at the moment. So I think I'm going to be waiting until until um, everything's been balanced a bit. Maybe should have taken the kangaroo there, but I feel like I'm kind of okay with the team I have and I just want to wait until tier 3. Yeah, I don't care about that, but I will give you some some extra stuff. Yeah, just leave the kangaroo. We can find stuff the next turn. And another one of these. Put that on there, because I'm going to try and keep the rabbit for a bit. I was hoping that I'd use it on the tree or something, but <laughs> there actually isn't early stat food. I think I was just thinking about the pear, but yeah, it's pretty late. And you're in a bad spot. I need to shuffle you forward. It's been so long since I've used um, cherries. Alright, well that's fine. We don't win, but 
<laughs> it's not a problem. Alright, get that off the screen. I am going to try and level the rabbits. And I could put this on something, but like, it makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, I could do that, but then it breaks your abilities. That's also pointless. Um, I think we just keep rolling. And yeah, sure, rabbit level, let's do it. Alright, sea lion and rock. So, I do enjoy sea lion games. And rock is pretty interesting as well. There's not much that synergizes with it other than this, maybe. Or not. We can just scale the HP on this and maybe it'll be pretty nice. Yeah, alright. <laughs> so let's get a scale HP on everything. Um, the pig still will be being sold at some point, but I guess not yet. And yeah. Okay, and that's probably the best hit for the bluebird, because if we hit the tree too many times, then it's not going to get its equipment in the fights. Alright, slightly rough trades, but we do have a win. And I want to buy sell this, but I don't know how. I'd have to sell the pig. <laughs> it makes me pretty weak. I could swap in a camel for a turn or something, but I don't know. Maybe I just hold off, because I'm not really looking for anything else at this tier. So maybe I just roll, try and find avocados to buy. Don't care about cherry, don't care about that. Definitely don't care about more pigs. Eh. Alright, um, I'm just going to buy that for you, and then I'm going to send it. And then next turn, we're selling pig, we're buy selling these. Thankfully, the tree is only at 6 attack, so its ability is still going to go off. But, yeah, <laughs> if the bluebird hits it again, then we're going to need to upgrade it or do something else with that. Alright, so get rid of you. Yeah, the quit is not going to do anything for the squad, really. And what what do I buff? Because this is attack. So if I do it on the tree, then that's going to be really messy. I could just go for loads of sea lions. <laughs> like, sea lions can maybe stay. Show me more sea lions. More tree. Mm, I mean, I'll take it. I'll take that. Um, I'm still going to put this on there, though, because I'd rather have a load of sea lions. I'll freeze that. Yeah, okay. Okay, yes. Um, I'm not going to double sell to buy this this turn, but I think it's a sea line game. <laughs> I think that's where I'm going to be going with it. Uh, I want this really far forward, but maybe... It's going to be attack on everything. So still make sure you get HP, but then everything else can be further back. So I think this works fine. And oh, great hit. Thank you. See ya. Husky is just kind of an objectively better sea lion. It does have the condition that I can't use equipment, but yeah, we're going to be doing actual sea lions. And do I combine the trees? I will combine the trees. All right, keep buying stuff for you. Oh, no, give it to this one. I'm not going to combine them, so yeah, we'll spread that out a bit. And we might be done with the rabbits. I will freeze more pairs if they show up. Freeze that. But yeah. Okay, so we have a bit of a sandwich. That is... Okay, that's actually already over. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter. We're just going to leave it there anyway. We can level it up next turn and then get some value. Uh, not looking great. <laughs> but kind of fair enough. We we're kind of steamrolling for a bit there. Alright, so let's see what our tier 6 is. Resummon... No, and we can't pill mammoths, and I don't really want to run it on the squad as it is. Um, I'm tempted to just freeze chocolates, but again, it won't be that useful until we actually find more of these for the squad, so I'm just going to hard roll a bit. Give it the same tier. I'm really hoping I can find more sea lions. Like, that's really what I want. Dragon? Nah. Show me sea lions. Alright. But, at the very least, our frontline tree guy will have their equipment again. That was pretty good. Solid. Five and three. Show me more. More sea lions. No husky, because you're not going to be scaling that one. I could take the husky for a while, maybe, because at least I can scale that and whatever next one I get in. So, sell you first, because I do kind of like the stuff I get off you. <laughs> and if I'm selling anything, it's the tree. Or it's the husky again. It's the husky again. I can't sell the tree. Not yet, anyway. Alright, spread these out. There you go, you're much closer together now. 
I'm not going to buy sell pigeon for that. I will be doing this. And and now what? We're still just doing HP on you. I could try and give it more attack. Because it can have that. And I'm just gonna put the cat at the back. It doesn't matter what this gets, because it's just it's gonna get sold. And that's actually a relatively similar team. It's a lot better than mine, but kinda similar. And it's actually not. Yeah, that's a draw. Alright, can I find more of these, please? <laughs> more sea lions? Maybe buy this while I still have you. We can do sea lions and the rabbit. Oh, okay. I'm still going to buy sell because I do want to try and get something else on the squad. But yeah, more cows. Never going to turn it down. Put down both of those. Um, I mean, I could do this, but it just feels kind of wasted. It's at least some HP. But I do want to roll for more. And like, the longer I leave it, the less likely I'm actually going to be able to get another sea line or for it to make any sense. Yeah, see, I need to use this guy. It's a little money generator. Nice. Six and three. Actually a good build? Question mark? Oh, amazing. <laughs> amazing. Okay. Keep doing these two. I know I can buff the tree, but I'm holding out hope that I can get rid of this and still have my buy sell slot for like more cows. Um, yeah, we're going to try and use the Peach of Immortality because we already kind of have a food build. This is a husky again. It's only going to buff those two though. Um, yeah, we just level you then. Level this. Very nice. And send. These are all good things, but they're not things I really care about. I'm holding out on a dream. Snakes would be great. Lots of things would be great. But they're not more sea lions. Oh, come on. <laughs> One HP. If you're going to destroy me, at least make it... Yeah. Extremely brutal. Don't make it close. Anyway, we have our final guy there. Um, you're perfectly at 12. So I could move you right to the front to make sure you still get your equipment. But I do still kind of want to get rid of that. And like, we can always throw in a red dragon or something, but I'm not, I'm not feeling that. All right, what equipment would I want? We can try tomatoes. I can't do it on you. You already have stuff. I'm going to throw it on here, but it's not that impressive. Yeah, more pieces of immortality. So this is going to be like a 3-5 buff. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, if we can just like keep stalling, then maybe we'll be fine. Maybe this just is the squad and the tree doesn't go. Oh my... Okay, they actually don't have very scary stuff behind that, but that looked really rough. Alright, anything else? More Peaches of Immortality? That's a 2-4. Should probably still buy it. Keep rolling. More rabbits, no. Um, let's just keep rolling this turn. More Peaches of Immortality, love it. Um, I could buy tomatoes, but... If we can just keep finding these, then we can get tons of stats. Because, what, that's a 4 6 now? Really big? They have actual good abilities in scaling. Yeah, we can't beat that one. <laughs> it is a little bit close, but yeah, that was too much. Yo, yo, massive. Both on here. Absolutely crazy. Uh, tree's still doing fine. Just roll it. More of these. I'm gonna freeze them because I really, I'm not, I can't swap anything else in now. And, uh, yeah, they're nice to look at, but this is the team. We can't change anything else, really. Do that there. Yeah, you definitely need more attack. Didn't realize it was getting so close to 50 HP. And that's a lot. We did trade well, though. Okay, I think we're fine here. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Eight. Eight trophies. Keep the dream alive. Um, Where do I put this? You, I think. I still can't do it on you without leveling it anyway. Crazy. Massive. Alright, just leave the chocolates. We don't need it. Um, I could take a mana potion, but I don't think it's really worth it. I'm freezing more of these. We're not even buying them. They're just there for the aesthetic. And do I buy pear or do I just hard roll for Peach of Immortality? 
I'd like to hard roll for Peach Immortality, yes. Alright, you next. 7-7. Seven, seven. Plus the extra 2, yeah. Loving it. Okay, send again. <laughs> oh, I mean, we have the same thing, actually. We're gonna have to triple trade into that, though, which is really sad. But I think we're still okay. No, we had to double! Oh! No, my sea lion team. Okay. Okay. Well, I still like that attempt. Let's go again. Alright, bluebirds. I'm gonna leave the fish this time. And, okay, I guess I'm just buying stuff that I can sell, which... Less useful for the bluebirds, but it's fine. And we will be the golden piggies. We have at least one pig, so we earned the name. And yeah, not a loss. Excellent. Show me duplicates then. Um, I will take a bun yet, because I think that's pretty strong. Yeah, and I'm just going to roll the rest. I could buy honey or something, but yeah, I, I really want to combo if I can get it. And I can. And I'm actually going to sell the pig this turn to buy one of them. And you can go to the front. These are going to be three threes. I think I rolled twice. I rolled three times. All right, even better. <laughs> we get a trophy. All right, so excellent. We don't need that. We can combine all these, though. And before attack, copy useful food perk from random enemy works one time per battle. I feel like this isn't going to be as useful this week because there's a lot of people running husky. And also, just the food just isn't that great. Yeah, I don't think that's really necessary. So I'm going to take a pug. So you give XP to the thing immediately in front of you. So I can combine there and then we can have a very big bun yip. And knockout, give HP to one random friend, triggers three times. I don't see a way to get that to work for the moment. Um, I think I'm just going to buy one of these and roll. Again, I could combine this, but I'm not really bothered. I think I'd rather just have a few things. And that doesn't look that bad. No, it is because I have to trade into this horribly. Yep. Oh, maybe different positioning would have like, turned that okay, but I didn't think I had bad positioning in the first place. All right, so I'm going to do this. Um, actually, I'm going to combine there, and I'm going to shuffle some stuff around. So now we should have a lot of triggers for a kangaroo. Yeah. And I think we just keep rolling. Try and find a bunyip for next turn. Lovely. And we're done with those. And yeah, that was a waste. Didn't see a reason to sell this before now, though. And it was actually almost good. But again, look, we have to triple trade into it. It's awful. Alright. Thank you. Thank you, Backline, for carrying the fight. Okay, so level up first. Um, we did find an early llama. I may take the Doberman, because if I can get Doberman and then a ton of Huskies, then that'd be a fun build. It does mean that this guy won't trigger for a very long time, but I can try and force stats onto him. And I've already tried llama, and it, yeah, <laughs> didn't love it. Ended up selling it, so. Yeah, do I just try and, like, pump stats onto you? Or try and find avocado or something? Or even just garlic? Okay, I'm going to buy one of those, because we keep running into things with really high attack right at the front. Um, leave the other one. Yeah, leave all of this. And yeah, I like it. Good. Just get a good trade. I mean, he didn't need all the attacks, but he traded. Nice. <laughs> Three and four. We can manage. Um, I will definitely be buying avocados this time. And kangaroo. Thing is, you're still... Nowhere. I'd rather just pivot really hard at the next tier. Yeah, let's just buy loads of avocados and then just ignore this guy. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I mean, that maybe would have changed my mind about trying to get this guy leveled up, but... Yeah. Happier to roll for the moment. We actually trade okay, though. Wait. We're okay! It's not a win, but we're okay. Keep it going. Alright, we're not taking mandrakes. Uh, you don't have enough HP for garlic to make any sense. I could throw it on there, but also don't really want it. Yeah, I think I just try and make this really big. Because when we get to the next tier, we want to have as many huskies as possible. Um, I could take a rock or something, because it is kind of strong. And we're not using the pug anymore, really. Uh, I don't know, it's probably better than the bluebird. This is too likely to miss things I care about, so... Yeah, we can at least get a decent snipe off doing this. And yeah, keep making this large. 
Don't need more of those. I will be buying avocados next turn. Yeah, just maintain not losing HP. That's all I really care about at the moment. We can worry about finding this later. But for now, just stay alive. As alive as we can be. And what do you do on level up? Uh, you gain extra attack. So I actually don't need to be pumping your attack too much, but doesn't make a difference. <laughs> like, if this is the only permanent thing I'm going to be keeping, then I might as well be doing this. And I do see other dog. I could maybe just run a massive dog squad, but I have a specific dog squad in mind. So yeah, we're just going to send that as it is. Ignore the Rhino. It is very good this week. But yeah, Huskies. Oh, see, like, that's just, that's just brutal. Okay. So, Turtle. Honestly, just throwing that in front of there would be pretty solid, but yeah, ability's still not going to pop off. Going to leave buying pears now, because we can find chocolate, we can find huskies. Um, sell you... No, sell the pug. I know I want, like, kind of want a dog squad, but this thing is actually helpful in a fight. And keep rolling. I can even level the husky. I'm pretty tempted, so yeah, let's just do that immediately. And Cerberus? Okay, that's a dog I'll take. <laughs> okay. So I'd have to sell Rock and Kangaroo for the Dobeman to get his shield. It's probably not worth it, but I do want to get rid of these. So I don't actually care about the stats I'd be losing from the Husky. And being able to get two hits in with my 18 attack guy and let this live may actually win for me. So I'm actually just going to completely throw <laughs> and do this. I will try and level the Cerberus, but I may hold the chocolate frozen for a while. Oh, that snipe was not good. Okay, fair enough. Give me some of these. More huskies. Hold on to the chocolates. I'm not going to buy random tier 5s if I can avoid it. Excellent. How does this work? Start a battle if this is lowest tier thing. Gain coconut. And choose one level one toy. Brings doom and chaos. I don't know if the bad dog thing happens before or after the doberman. I'd assume it happens afterwards, and that would actually ruin my, my build. So I'm going to ignore. Uh, definitely let me know if I'm wrong on that front, though. And a dragon's not a dog. I refuse. We stick to the dog squad, and I'm going for a four squad instead. Just to make a point. Probably should have just bought the chocolate for one of these, actually. Because <laughs> I, I don't care about getting this to level three. Alright, one HP. This is where we have to pull it back. Um, You replace, so yeah. Do this. I am going to buy that. I'm just going to give extra stats to these, honestly. Then roll a bit. We can even level it, which I love. Didn't get another one of those, but that's fine. Uh, maybe throw that to the back, because there are going to be people running tomatoes now. So let's have a little buffer for the Cerberus. It wouldn't get one shot anyway, but just want to make sure. And the cow's still a high tier thing, so Doberman still does get his shield. Okay, they're going to do a massive snipe, but honestly, I have enough relatively big things that it doesn't matter. Yep, good. All right, please. My final husky. <laughs> I need him. Oh, or we can go for double Cerberus. Yeah, maybe that's my dog squad. I know I can level him, but I think we do that. All right, double Cerb. Let's go. <laughs> I could combine and maybe it would shimmy another one, but there are too many things that aren't Cerberus that I don't care about. So instead, we do just roll. And actually, I could level another one of these, but I do think I'm going to run double Cerberus. So I think this is the squad now. This is the squad, we just need levels everywhere, apart from on you. You're as good as you're going to get. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a long game, but <laughs> we're making the comeback. Um, I'm going to start here because I am afraid of just being dead. And I don't know whether I play another Husky. Like, this is already doing fine. We're getting 4-4 four, four and everything a turn. These two just 2-2 two, two each, but yeah, I, I think I do want to keep double Cerberus. So just stack one of those, ignore the stat food. Can't buy sell you anymore. Um, Beach of Immortality isn't bad, but yeah, we're just going to be hard going for levels. And you know what? I'm actually just going to do this. We don't really need the attack, but it'll show me a tier 6. So if it shows me a Cerberus, then it's not a complete waste of a turn. Yeah, like we, we don't need it. He's already up there. Yeah, I want more levels. We need more of those dogs. Okay. 
Yay, Cerberus Greats. All right, another one of those. Send it again. This guy's going to be at 50 attack by himself in a second. <laughs> at least he always has a shield. And that's massive. Huge triple trade. And then the pups almost dealt with everything behind it. Okay, great. Continue rolling. Continue rolling, but I'm feeling worse about it now. <laughs> okay, level. Love it. And I could transform the huskies towards the end if I really wanted to. But we have a dog squad, you know? We have a theme. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I will be sticking with this until the end. Hopefully in a good way. And not like a sinking ship way. Oh, let's try and get one to level 3. Um, do it onto you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> one more round to try and get this guy leveled up. It's not even that impressive, because I think summons aren't very good this week. I don't think there's much synergy for it anyway. Yeah, I think it's mostly a stats and sniping kind of week, but the sniper is basically just the rhino. I mean, I could try and level you. If I get that level, then it might give me this one, but I don't think we're going <laughs> to be able to do that. So yeah, let's just go for this really hard. Goodbye, mana. Yay! Okay, we did it. We did it. We got our dog weekly. And yeah, I don't think order really matters. Like, you should be safe at the back, right? Maybe put that one back there, just because it is slightly tankier and lower level. Because I know that um, Tomatoes and the Red Dragon target the very back most things. But yeah, we're good. Yay, we got a dog victory. Perfect. Alright, definitely a massive comeback. Uh, but yeah, it's solid. <laughs> Very solid game, love that. Alright, well, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, bye-bye!